In this video, we'll be going over pH balancing, why it's important, and nutrient dosing when using hydroponics to grow your indoor houseplants. What you need is a pH and a ppm meter, both of which can be found on Amazon which I'll link in the description. To begin, I'll be using a 1 gallon pitcher and filling it a quarter of the way with tap water. The tap water will provide calcium and other trace minerals that is essential for plant growth. The tap water in our area is typically high in minerals, so we like to dilute it with filtered water. Using filtered water will make it easier for you to pH balance and you'll know exactly what's in your water. Next, we'll be adding our micro and macro nutrients. Brown is our micro and green for macro. We will measure the concentration levels in ppm, also known as parts per million. We like to add the micronutrients first, which is the brown solution and contains high levels of nitrogen. Our target ppm for this mix is 500, so we will take this up to 250 before adding the other half of the macronutrients. To prevent nutrient lockout, it is important to thoroughly mix your first solution before moving on. Next, we'll add our macronutrient, which is the green solution and contains high levels of potassium. We'll take this up to our target ppm at around 500. Generally, for juvenile plants, you can start with 0 to 250 ppm and work your way up as your plants mature. Medium plants from 500 to 1000 ppm. Immature plants from 1000 to 1500 ppm. Now it's time to pH balance our water. Add a few drops of the orange pH down until it reaches the targeted number. If you've accidentally added too much, you can raise the pH back up by using the blue solution. The optimal pH levels of plants vary, but this range is typically between 5.5 and 6.5 for optimal nutrient uptake. If it's outside this range, then the plants will lose the ability to absorb some of the essential elements required for steady growth. The nutrient solution is typically acidic, so as the plants absorb the nutrients, the pH of your water will rise. Periodically check your pH and adjust if needed. I hope this video has given you a new perspective of growing your plants in hydroponics. And with that said, happy planting.